dropped munition. Um, and essentially what he is doing in that video is he's removing the fusing unit from the, the nose of the munition itself. Uh, there is another guy there pouring on water now. Um, that might be to reduce friction um, and any kind of vibration into that fuse itself. They're trying to be as careful as possible when removing that fuse. When it comes to is the standard practice, um, it, it is very much scenario dependent. In an ideal situation, um, they would do it remotely or semi-remotely, uh, utilizing a, a remote vehicle, a robot, for example. The guy is doing it manually, whether that is due to a lack of equipment, whether that be because there is grave and immediate threat to life. So if he doesn't conduct a manual RSP on that munition there and then, um, subsequent um, things might take place which will, will injure and, and potentially kill people. We don't know if that bomb was next to uh, a hospital, a school, uh, a building that is occupied. Again, there is so many unknowns here. Um, there is inherent risk, um, but he essentially is going to be wanting to get the job done to make that device safe, to enable um, freedom of movement in that area, to enable troops to be able to, to carry on with their mission set, what that might be, and, and enable freedom of movement for the local population.